I'm going to start off with my CoverGirl True Blend Foundation in the color M3. Um, right now my favorite way to blend out foundation is with my Real Techniques multitask brush and a lot of people like this for blush and contouring and whatever but it really works well as a foundation buffer as well so I'm just going to now that my foundation is perfectly blended I'm going to move on to concealer the concealer I'm going to use is my L'Oreal true match concealer um, in the shade fair I always start on that very inner corner and I make sure to get that really intense and then I sort of drag downwards in this sort of I don't know what shape it's like a little star coming straight from the inner corner of my eye I do use this concealer for highlighting parts of my face as well so I'm just going to highlight the typical areas that people would now I'm going to go in with my morphe g2 brush which is my favorite concealer brush at the moment and I'm going to all of this concealer in. What this brush is also going to do underneath the eyes that is really great is if you get a little too heavy handed then this brush is going to absorb some of the extra makeup underneath your eyes and the less makeup underneath your eyes the less creasing will occur. For setting my under eye I'm going to use my Bed Nye Luxury Powder. I use the Cameo Powder. I do not use the Banana Shaver. I just like to a bit in my hand and then I just like to take a powder puff I have no idea where this comes from one of my powder compacts and I kind of dip it in on both sides and just press that on and of course it looks crazy right now but have no fear afterwards I like to rub the powder puff into my hand and then sort of sandwich it together and you know, flick it off a little bit and I just like to softly press this onto just my T-zone where I get oily, especially focusing on my nose where I do get oily throughout the day. I like to let my under eye powder sort of sit there and um, cook like some YouTubers call it. The longer you let the powder sit on the skin, the lighter the concealer will be underneath it when you flick off that powder. So after I've powdered the rest of my face, that's when I like to take a Morphe M436 or just any little stippling brush or you can even use just any light brush that's not going to move the concealer and I just like to flick off the extra powder. Of course I'm going to start off with an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer. Before I begin the eyes, today I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like that's what I should do. So I'm going to use a tiny little BH Cosmetics angled brush and my NYX eyebrow gel in the color Brunette. I usually just take like a little post-it or something like that to apply literally less than a drop. That's all I'm going to use for both of my brows. To start off with a shade that's just going to go all over the lids just to make any colors you put on top easier to blend and for this eye tutorial I'm going to be using mostly my revealed palette by Coastal Scents because I love 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 this palette so I'm going to use the first shade in that palette which is just a yellowy Color. This actually, the color of it reminds me of Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot, and that's really random, but it's kind of similar. For my transition shade, I'm going to take an extremely large, super fluffy brush, and I'm going to take this shade in the top row of the Revealed palette. It's not, you know, defining my crease much or anything like that. It's just to lay a little thumb thumb down. I'm going to grab my MAC. 217 brush. Look how fresh and clean it is. Mm, I loved clean brushes. And I'm going to take this shade, the fourth from the left in the top row, which is so this is our transition color and this is our definer shade. And start defining the eyes just a little bit. We're going to keep this eye look, eyeshadow look quite round. You know, we're not going to flick it up like in a cat eye shape. I'm just going to keep it sort of in the crease. 
all above the crease and everything. I'm just going to kind of take that same definer shade that we used and I'm going to pick it up on a pencil brush pretty heavily and we're going to use this in the crease of the eye but a little bit more defined. To me, liquid liner is one of the most terrifying aspects of makeup. <sighs> I'm just bad at it. I'm really bad at it. But I'm going to try to do it today and hope that I don't mess up because I've been really sad. <laughs> so I'm going to take my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in um, Intense Black. I'm just going to film one eye because it's going to take me forever. And there it is on one eye, and now I'm going to go try to do it on the other eye. It's going to get messed up, and I'm going to cry, and then I'm going to come back. So I'm back, and everything actually surprisingly went better than expected. Now I'm going to go in with a little flat brush, and I'm going to take Strange from my Naked 3 palette. And I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. I'm just going to lay the brush on its side after I deposit that color to blend it in with our transition shade. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take that. First, I'm going to take our transition shade that we used first in the crease with this little smudge brush. And I'm going to apply that under the eyes all the way in. And then I'm going to take the definer shade and apply it halfway in. Next, I'm going to line my lower and top water lines. This is my Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil. That doesn't make any sense, but. And then I'm going to take a teensy tiny little smudgy brush and I'm going to grab the matte black shade in my revealed palette. And I'm going to take that on the little smudge brush and Oh, I just got it on my eyeball and sort of sweep it. Um, like, if you guys know how often you're supposed to replace the little pads on your eyelash curler, please comment that down below because I think it's strange that they always give you pads to replace your eyelash curler thing with, but they don't really tell you how often to replace it. So for mascara, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Stiletto. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. They're super, super simple, can go with any lip color, and they really will let your lips do all the talking. For blush, I'm going to use my Tarte Magic Amazonian Clay 12 hour brush, uh, blush. <laughs> I'm gonna use this on my Morphe G4 brush. I love these Morphe gunmetal brushes. I'm gonna take my NYX Sunny Bronzer on this humongous Real Technique brush, and I'm going to just, I don't know, kinda just put it on anywhere where the sun would hit you. For my highlight, I'm going to use NARS Albatross Highlighter. I just bought this recently, and it is like a dream. It's everything that I would ever want from a highlighter. It's so good, and I'm gonna use my Morphe M43 brush. And I'm brushing because my camera's running out of battery, so anyways, I'm just going to put this anywhere that I feel like I need eyeliner, which is everywhere. Now comes the super, super fun part. I'm going to show you a few different lip colors, and what I'd really love from you guys is if you would comment down below and vote for your favorite lip color. So I'm going to number them one through four, and of course I have the products listed in the down bar and I'm just going to apply them and you guys can tell me which ones you guys like best. So I'm gonna go put on lip colors. 